going on, everybody? I'm Sneaker Dave. You're now tuned in to the shoegame.com. Now, real quick, we're going to do uh, the Hirachi uh, Trainer uh, 1 comparison. Uh, but before that, uh, we're going to give you a little um, Hirachi Technology 101. So, um, obviously, um, Tinker was behind the original Hirachi concept about uh, making a, a shoe into like a sandalless kind of, you know, project. Uh, basically, uh, taking a shoe, um, you know, taking less material out to make the shoe more lightweight, and um, basically taking material in areas to where it's not needed. And uh, they came up with the Hirachi concept, and this was one of the first basketball shoes they did, which is the Flight Hirachi. Um, a lot of people at first did not like this idea until uh, the Fab Five obviously made them famous and uh, pretty much made Hirachis uh, what it is today. So um, we're going to show you a quick archive of um, you know, Hirachi technology inspired shoes that came up over the years. Obviously, I don't have them all, but I did just bring a few pieces. So, obviously, this is the, uh, like I said, the flight Hirachi right here. Then, believe it or not, the Hirachi technology carries on in the Air Jordan 7. This was the very first and last um, Air Jordan with the Hirachi technology, and it was done in the Jordan 7. Third, we have the Hirachi 2K4, which is um, one of the more better Hirachi uh, basketball shoes, uh, worn by Kobe Bryant. Actually, my personal opinion, one of the greatest Hirachis ever done. And then last but not least, we have the Hirachi 2K5, which was also worn by Kobe Bryant. And let me move these out your way, and we're going to um, just do the video real quick. Now right here we have the, this is the first retro, uh, I want to say 2001 um, Hirachi Trainer. Then we have the uh, 2011, this year's uh, Hirachi Trainer. Um, couldn't got, grab a hold of that uh, the original one, that's very hard to come by these days. But this is all we have right now, so as you can see, uh, the tones of the gray colors this is more like a cool gray this is a medium gray um as you can see the color hits are drastically different from both pairs and you also notice this is more uh, a new buck hit the new one is suede hits so big change so we're gonna turn these around the back again you have your color differences here and there and the Nike on the heels, this has the new buck. Uh, the 2011 pair has the gloss um, hit right there in the Nike Air. And notice the heel tabs are slightly different in color as well. And we'll turn them around. And as you can see, like I said, gray shade difference. Um, the midsoles are different. The 2011 has the black midsole. And the 2001 version still has the white hit. And also, small note, the new one has a smooth leather to where the 2001 version had the wrinkled leather. You can see that right there. And we're going to turn these where the toes are. And obviously you'll see, this, this is the 2011 and this is the 2001. Um, like I said, the suede hit on the new one. And then you have the all new buck right there. And then we'll give you one more look. Again, you have the 2011 Trainer Hirachi and the 2001 Trainer Hirachi. And that is our Hirachi video. Uh, so real quick, uh, just let everybody know we have SneakerDave.com coming real soon. So... Keep on the lookout for that. And just check me out at Sneaker Dave at Twitter. Till next time, people.